Dozens of professors and faculty members are rallying around a janitor at USC. They say she was falsely accused of stealing a student's backpack. As KKL 9's Christine Lazar shows us, thousands of people have now joined their call to have her reinstated. I mean, we see her as a colleague. If you work with someone for seven years, they're part of your family. Francisca Trigueros worked for more than two decades as a janitor in the Sealy Mud Building at USC. It's home to the psychology department. She's been cleaning the faculty offices for all these years, and we have valuables in these offices. And all of us trust her. Which is why many within the department were floored when they learned that the 61 year old was handcuffed, arrested, and promptly fired last month, accused of stealing a student's backpack that was stuffed with a sizable amount of cash. To me, it reeks of bias. There's no way that would happen to a white male professor like myself. According to several professors who work in the building, Trigueros found the backpack in this unlocked classroom. She usually turned in lost items to the main psychology office, but the woman who staffs the office says she was on vacation that week. So Trigueros brought the backpack here to a nearby supply closet. Several faculty members tell me she put it inside and locked the door. She doesn't take it home. She doesn't use the money. The bag sits in the closet. But when the student reported the backpack missing the following day, campus police alerted the LAPD. And security video of Trigueros handling the backpack led them to her. Trigueros' employer and USC contractor, Aramark, issued this statement to us. After an investigation involving the police and our HR team, the person in question was found to be in violation of our policies regarding lost and found items and is no longer with the company. So what they're saying is she should have let a student's backpack get stolen in order to avoid violating policy because she would get fired. That's completely crazy. Close to 200 faculty members and students have now signed an open letter demanding Trigueros get her job back, and they are calling on the university to protect her from what they are calling an unlawful arrest. At USC, Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News. USC tells us that it is legally required to turn over theft reports to the LAPD and that the university was not directly involved in Trigueros' termination.